Oh, I am indeed, Tristan. I am indeed. This is such a treat. But you, I can see this lioness. She, <laughs> she's not very comfortable. Not with us. She's just so full. So she hasn't been lying down for a long time. Then she changes position, and, um, and now she got up and is moving a little bit. They're moving around these cubs. Look at that, they're calling. Listen to them. Oh my word. Let's see if she picks one up. Oh, hold on, let's watch. They've decided to move a little bit closer to us. feel like they can explore now with the female around. It's amazing how trusting these little cubs are. As long as the mother is close by, not a, not a fear in the world. Moving back to the same position again. It's nice of her to be out in the open. <laughs> Look at them moving through the long grass. Sorry, I'm trying to stay out the shot here. Well, the cubs want to suckle, but the female, she's still panting heavily because she's so full. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful picture? Look, watch, watch. She might pick one up. Have a look. Watch, watch. Looks like she wants to move one. Come on. Oh. I don't want to be picked up. want to suckle, they want food, they want breakfast, <laughs> like this Megan said. And again, just such a treat to be the only ones here and to see this for the first time. I know a lot of you can probably hear these little sounds, these squeals or squeaks that these lion cubs can make. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think, you know what, Sebastian? I don't, I'm, Sebastian asked what my one word would be to describe this. Um, I think I'd go with... Uh, oof, no. Let me think about that a little bit. Precious. I think this is precious. Ginga, you asked how long after, or or how long until she decides to move the den. Well, I, I, I'm trying to think. I've seen I've seen lions 
at about three weeks potentially move the den not too far but move the cubs to a new den site um, and then um, and then at about two months roughly roughly two months probably introduce them to the pride if there is a kill nearby I wonder where she's going She's just showing them a little bit of the terrain around here. Rebecca, you asked at what age will we, will we be able to tell the gender of the cubs? I think also around two, two and a half months, Rebecca. You'll probably be able to to see if you look carefully. I'm, I think you would be able to then see. I'm just trying to think. I saw, I saw lion cubs, young lion cubs in the Kalahari. When was, it? was it the beginning of the year or last year? Last year. And um, and they were about two months old, and the one lioness went and fetched them, and took them to a kill. They were between two and three months old. There was slightly different sizes. Um, two litters actually. Two females gave birth. Two and three month old cubs, and the first time they were then brought to the kill, we got to see them. But um, and yeah, you know, I think we could just tell, but it's it's difficult. You need to look very very carefully. You can hardly see these little ones in this long grass. And now where is the female going? I'm just trying to think now because I wonder if this is where she gave birth to the cubs or if she had moved the den is this not the first place or first time she's moved the den was into this area I, I don't know I can't remember I all I remember is someone saw one cub I can't remember if it was Taylor or Tristan um, saw a cub um, or someone else saw a cub and told them yeah. did someone else see a cub and tell them okay Someone else saw a cub apparently, but I don't know. Was this line is perhaps moving the cubs and moved them this side, or or was uh, was she um, just maybe, or if they were in the area and they followed her and saw the cub? I'm going to try get one more view of this female from the other side, to see where she goes with these little cubs. Let's head back to Tristan, who is now viewing some more scavengers.